Now, I thought about having a long, drawn-out video, but your boy don't have time for that. As you can see, my voice is a little gravelly at the moment, and um, I got house things to do. Um, now that I finally finished with this. Uh, so, what is this? This is a hex CCA, which means a hexadecimal carry cancel adder. I had been wanting one this size for a long time, but I kept putting it off and uh, finally put some time into it. Looks like a G right there. Um, but literally inputs are at the top and outputs are at the bottom on the same side. Uh, the reason why is that I'd like this to be the, um, what's the, the, the core of a multiplier that I'm working on. And, uh, oh, my, um, I was hoping, I was, I was really hoping for my controller to just drift. <laughs> Drift and let it spiral while I talk. Damn. <laughs> now all of a sudden it wants to stop drifting. Ugh. Well, here we go. I'll just hold it. Uh, where was I? Um, but yeah, I um, uh, I finally got it. And you can kind of kind of see it in there. So, well, since I'm controlling it, might as well. Um, right here at the top, um, closest to us is the input. You've got your um, A on the top and B on the bottom. Now, as it flies in, I posted this recently, and that little red area, it's since changed, doesn't, uh, I mean, it's still technically a heart, um, but you know, I didn't need those extra blocks, so I removed them. Uh, I mean, even the red one in the top, um, top left corner, it doesn't need to be there. Uh, it will be removed in the final version, but at least it gives us a place to anchor our eyes because that little tiny unit right there uh, or that configuration of comparators, those three comparators, it allows the top, which is A, to come in. It is immediately knotted with that furnace, that's 15 signal strength, um, immediately knotted there. So now you've got a not A right between the two red um, uh, red blocks. And then that drops down simultaneously as uh, your B value is coming in. Now, those of you in the know, um, and if you're not in the know, now you're in the know because you found my video. Um, basically, an adder consists of simple equations. Um, A minus... Oh, not A minus B and B minus not A. Um, there's a couple more knots in there and all a knot is, is a inverse or complement of that particular number. So for instance, zero, the complement of zero is 15 um, if you're using hexadecimal, right? Now, as we are in that, uh, that area there, we get both... Um, uh, coming, shooting out on the right is not A minus B because that B is hitting that comparator in the same timing. And on the other side, on the left, we have B minus not A. Now, being that B minus not A requires a couple, um, uh, a couple redstone ticks of calculating. Um, on the left side, it begins the calculation to know whether it's a carry. Um, if that comparator comes on at all, it means that there's a carry. So it just starts to calculate like, all right, how much it, um, how much do I need to uh, calculate as the remainder from uh, A and B? And and then it also does a minus one in all of that time that that's happening on the right side um the a the not a minus b is going down going down following the um the the flow 
right next to where where that calculation is uh, completing. And as it completes, and I believe it is just count the comparators, one, two, three, four, five, six, in six redstone ticks, we've got our knotted value for um, either the actual addition value or the um, uh, the remainder from that from a carried value and so that starts to go down meanwhile other signals have been uh triggered since uh we've got ourselves a um do, 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 e, yeah there it is since we've got ourselves that uh first piston wait there's only one piston let's go um that piston right there it it starts to also trigger because that generates the carry line. And that carry line can be tiled or stair step tiled. And you can see there with that um, slab that that is only going up and not going down. Meanwhile, on the other side, if the cancel is activated, i.e., um, uh, what is it? If B is greater than A, either at the beginning of the equation or at the end. Wait, 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 did I say that right? Yeah, yeah, either at the beginning of the equation, I, E, if B, yeah, yeah, if B is greater than uh, not A, it will shut that off. And you can kind of see that torch cascade down um, and hits another one directional platform because this would all be stair step tiled and powers those two comparators um those two comparators are needed because uh, initially i put uh repeaters and the reason being is that uh you kind of want to use the decayed signal because there will be some cancel signal uh down the line but those repeaters on the opposite side will take care of it and they're timed perfectly. Um, so going to the bottom there, the bottom what we have is the one thing I didn't have on the first version of this, uh, which was in the condition that you have, let's say, um, FF plus F. There is a, uh, you've generated a carry but now you've got this F signal going down the line, uh, but the invert of F is nothing. Uh, so you have this void <laughs> traveling down the line. And if you, once that inverts, it's gonna invert to the full value. Uh, but basically what I've done is I've taken it. If an inverted value is coming down, it immediately gets inverted. And that is the only condition that that actually happens in, um, in each slice. So it powers off the power source that would allow a value to output. And I actually got that idea from Yellow Bunny's, um, Yellow Bunny's uh, CCA adder. I was like, oh man, how can I get that signal in there in various ways? I tried it with, um, uh, what is it, observers? And I really wanted to get observers out of the calculating. And I did, even though it wouldn't have mattered since this is all waterfall logic, I can literally just send values in one after the other and everything is just timed accordingly. So yeah, boom, that's, that's that. And uh, now the showcase.
so I'll put in some values and right now um, to get zero I just removed the block so I don't have to break this um, so right now I have that scenario which is oh no I don't. this is just a general carry um, but I've got F there F there and F there right and the answer to this is one zero uh, e, I believe. There it is. One zero e, and if I put a block here, oh, what is in here? Ah, oh, eight makes sense. And if I was to make that the full value f, it should be one f eight. I mean, not eight, geez, that <laughs> one less than the full um, uh, value. Um, what else? Um, oh, oh, compared to my last uh, ripple carry adder, this one. Oh, my goodness. I am so excited to announce. We'll do this. So, oh, that's the wrong thing. Jeez, Louise super quickly and to get rid of that because to get the, that third digit is, would have been a pain boom <laughs> because uh right now this would be f f and we've got a carry that's going to be going down the entire line um <laughs> and as you can see it just hit it always the same time always 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 also um i, I am steve, steve. deuces Outer space.